Alright, you guys ready? Hi everyone, my name is Tom and this is New Brooklyn Bridge Tycoon. You have the, the Brooklyn Bridge, which is which turned into a park. And now there are pedestrians who are hungry and you can feed them. That's your chance to buy different shops that require ingredients. For that you can buy factories that will produce your ingredients. And the game is also multiplayer with up to four players and four AIs. And the mission is basically to monopolize the bridge, play against other players who are gonna steal your customers from you, and your job is to drive them out of business. Uh, what do you think about this intro? Um, this devlog is being made uh, during a live stream on Twitch, so we will see how it goes, and hopefully the result is uh, good. Yeah, let's start. One of the things that I worked on this week was to give the player the option to ab abandon the game. If the player already bought like factories, they already bought some shops, they started gathering ingredients and they even created selling order for the market. So we have a full player that had that did a lot of stuff. We can see them in the market as well. So one of the options is to abandon the game, which means the player is gonna leave the game and not gonna be able to come back to it. So when they leave the game, we can see all the shops, all the factories, the selling in the marketplace, everything disappear. It's like in a monopoly when someone decides to leave the game and they just put everything back to the bank. It's as if they never played the game. So that's the same concept here. So this is how abandoning the game work. The player basically calls on these three uh, simple methods. The first one destroys all the shops. So he takes the player, loops through all the shops and destroys them. Same thing goes for the factory, it grabs the player, loops through all the factories and destroys them. And lastly with the delete orders, same thing, we find all, all the cell orders that the player created and we just remove them. It's that simple. At least for the abandoning the game. For when the player wants to leave, that's a different story. The second option I started working on this week was the close down option. So this means that instead of the player abandoning the game, and having all their shops and factories just disappear. Their shops and factories, these are gonna get uh, closed down, so the factories are not gonna produce any ingredients, and the shops are not gonna serve any customers. That's, that's basically it. And the problem that I faced with this was the way I was sharing the... the way I was sharing the information between the clients about closing down, about the factories, all of that, I realized that my multiplayer system is faulty. That I'm sharing too much information with clients that don't, don't care about it. So for example... The system is faulty because I have the factories. When the factories produce ingredients, this notification about the ingredients being produced is getting sent to the host and other players. Which is faulty because other players should not care about the ingredients I just made. Right? The only player who cares about my factory producing something needs to be me and the host. Another example is with the money. This information is being currently shared among everyone. And there is no reason for other players to care about my ingredients, my money. All this person needs to care about is the status of this factory. Is it open or closed? And this one, open, closed. And this player needs to know about me selling stuff on the market because that's the customer. This player is going to be buying from me. Yesterday, I planned out the system for my multiplayer where I broke down all the information about each one of these entities and what should be shared among the client and the host what should be shared among the all clients, what should be shared with the host itself, and there are even items that uh, only the client itself needs to know. City sell orders, the option of, of buying from the city. Um, I don't need to synchronize it among everyone, it's just a host client thing. But buying and selling orders, the status of them, the amount, that needs to be synchronized among everyone. And Another example, I care if he closes or opens his shop, because I want to update the visual for that. Yeah, basically this is the system, 
that I will have to go and change, uh, refactor a lot of my code, which is which which will be fine. But I'm gonna do it uh, next week or the ne the week after. We will see. So with every devlog, I'm finishing up with showing the wishlist. This is the current outstanding wishlist that I have. This week we only got six, uh, which is it's something. It's better than nothing. I still think that once uh, I uh, get the artist to do the capsule, it's gonna go much better. Yeah. Uh, thank you for joining me for this stream devlog creation. Wishlist the game, wishlist uh, New Brooklyn Bridge Tycoon on Steam, and I will see you next time. Alright, that, that was weird. Alright, stop. <laughs>